Hello and welcome to a video from the video wiki and I thought I'd bring you a little something special seeing as uh, we reached 1000 subs and uh, I mean this isn't something I'd usually do but when I do get into building I mean I love it and uh, maybe you can see this here but you'll see in a second so this is on a public server this isn't my server or anything um, maybe you'll find it I don't know I'm not going to give it the server IP away in uh just just in case you will flood it and start spamming, which uh, I can't risk because then they'll blame it on me. But yeah. So uh if I just look up quickly, my builder uh, goes all the way up there. But I'll just show off here. And I've also made the GUI uh, really small, so you can only see a little bit of it. But yeah. So this is uh entrance to my sanctuary. And uh yeah, so, oh, the door's open. Now, these doors would usually be opened uh, by these pressure plates. And uh, this is a little secret room, which I made. And lights will come on soon, if you can't see. So I step over that pressure plate. It closes the door. It also closes that place. And I'm left in this room. Now, there's not water flowing here. But I've created a very clever little... Oh, we haven't got enough... Uh, we haven't got enough meat in there. Alright, so if I just do that, take some of that out, I don't need any food. Now, this changes that to red to show you're cooking. This also, also opens up this. And now this is all timed on sticks. So if I take out some of them, so that had two left. If you can work out how long that takes to cook, and we'll just wait and watch. So you can see the room down there. It's looking all nice and everything. Um, and glowstone's there just to show you the way out. And once I stop cooking, oh, there you go, it's covered up. Now this again, I'll sh it'll be, and that's closed, so all you have to do is step on those to open it. And I'll just show you around the edge of it. So you've got these nice wooden struts going up with vines on them. It's uh, symmetrical in pretty much every way. Well, I tried to get it symmetrical. Lily pads and all that probably, uh, probably aren't exactly in the right direction, but yeah, and this little feature in the middle, in the middle with uh, some water coming down it. And if I go up to my next level, which is featuring stone brick instead of the sandstone, all bordered by these flower pots and uh, half slabs, and it's got this wooden statue in the middle, and uh, not wooden, stone statue in the middle with uh, these redstone lamps. And again, this isn't tech it, so there's nothing ridiculously fancy. And uh, there are floating struts with glowstone. And yeah, you can go all the way up the middle if you wanted to a certain point. And yeah, this is a build. So it's. Oh, I'm missing a step there. But, you know, you always miss something. And these nice little struts in the corners. Then moving up to the grass floor. Now, this is one of my favourite floors, personally. And thank God it stopped raining. And Oh, it's only because. Oh, no, it stopped. Yeah, so this is surrounded by benches, grass, vines in the middle, little hedge row. It's bordered by pumpkins and melons, so it's just a fancy little floor as well, which I like. And again, these wooden struts keep going up. Internally, there is this staircase, which you can jump up if you choose. Or you can just go up the water, you know. It's up to you. Now, you jump over here. Now, this is wool wool themed floor with some ash wood birch wood I apologize and yeah so it's just a nice little feature in the middle like so which I think is pretty good now uh, if you look up there are the sandstone supports for the actual water feature which we'll see soon and yeah so that was mirrored all the way around and uh, that took me quite a while to get it all right but if we go up even further we have this, which is the actual sandstone uh, fountain, which starts at the top and goes all the way down, as I said. So it has a glowstone supports coming off it, a uh, sandstone staircase going up with some vines. And at the top of these wooden struts, we have these little uh, these little things. Don't know why they're there, because I haven't got them anywhere else, but yeah. It's not... Oh, there's corner slabs. Huh. Looks like someone else has been up here, not me, because I don't remember doing that. But yeah, so this is the top of it. It's the top of that main thing. Then we have the next floor up, which is just a little 
prelog or uh, this little intro to what's to come and this again is supported on the corner by these fences with glowstone blocks all the way up provide lighting with steve heads on top so this is using 1.42 then we have <coughs> so another star of a fountain it's not very fancy it just goes down to there and uh, it leads to this or well, these wooden supports which go all the way out and it's symmetrical and uh, there's an invisible block above me which actually glass but you know <coughs> and then you come up to this floor which is uh, a hotel which is pretty cool so it's a modern skyscraper in my opinion made out of iron it's pretty clean pretty fancy trees in the corner just as a little uh, courtyard just to make it look nice and uh, so it looks like you're walking on nothing Welcome. So, hello and welcome to XII Ramu's high-rise apartment building. There are currently three rooms at this facility, though more can be added. Please enjoy your stay. Take the elevator to your floor. Now you think elevator, normal Minecraft, it can't happen. Well, I will show you something amazing. And there you go. Room 1, floor 1, rented by Xena. And these are all people on the server uh, that I talked to. So, uh, yeah, so you got Flower, flower shouldn't be in that flower pot, but whoever's room this is obviously choose to, to decorate it. They're not storing anything, and they've got that ashwood, ashwood seat, and a lovely little balcony, looking down and out. Now, uh, all the rooms are pretty much the same as I like to keep them, uh, the same. And uh, this room has got jungle wood planks, same theme. It's got jukebox, flower pot, bed and uh, another balcony with a balcony above it and a balcony below as you can see and you can still look out onto the beautiful uh, server plots pictures again and that was to be rented so uh, any potential rentees you know where to come then elevator takes you up to floor 3, room 3 and again this is uh, spruce wood, same design, pictures that is a pretty cool picture, look at it, look at him he didn't know what's going on. Same same theme. Bed, pot, blah, balcony, redstone. Yeah, so uh, I've been using a hell of a lot of redstone on this uh, server. Um, I got promoted to redstone uh, expert builder and uh, all that nonsense. But I, I call myself the friendly redstoner as I like to go around and help people. But you know, that's just me. Then if we come up here, this is the very top floor. And we have a little uh, food room, which I like to call it, barbecue. And uh, if it's too hot for you, there's milk. And yeah, so you just step on a pressure plate. And uh, golden carrot, actually. So golden carrots, guys. They are they are amazing. And uh, this is a little archery game, so I will get my bow out. So it's really simple. You shoot wooden buttons, like so. Can I hit that from here? Oh, there you go. So that just comes up to show you one. This will reset itself automatically. And I've created more complicated redstone things. I just have a, haven't got them at the moment. And this is another simple one. Get your item in the hole under the floating ice blocks. Be careful not to fall because there's those holes there. So you go one, two, three. Again, it's not very difficult, but sand pushes up with the emerald blocks underneath. Um, I've also got a little maze, it's not even a maze, it's just if you want to waste your time walking through somewhere, then uh, feel free to. Iron door to stop you getting out. And yeah, that's it. So, as you can see, my build pretty much extends to the top of the world height. I think I was about 11 blocks off with the top of the glass building, but I'm just going to go down it like so, as you can see. This was an epic build, and it took me quite a while. Sorry I didn't uh, think of filming it at the time but it literally would have taken ages and I wasn't I didn't really know what I was doing for most of it. I kind of just made it up as I went along, came back to it over the half term and all that. And yeah, that's it. Sorry if there's any lag cuz uh, that's probably from the server as there's a bit of a bit of glitching recently. But I'll show you this door in action. Yeah, so there you go. And um, I'll also be bringing some redstone to the channel, which is uh, my hope in the future, because uh, that's my thing. That's my thing at the moment. Sorry, uh, there hasn't been many Tekken videos. We've, I've been on this, and there's new games, 
Halo 4, there's Assassin's Creed, you know, we're just uh, taken up with that. But we're going to try and do more. Well, we say try, but one video a week is uh, probably the max, along with our mocks, which are going to take up a hell of a lot of time. As you can see, there's uh, My Little Pony in the background. So yeah, see you later, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at my build. Sorry I can't show it to you in person, but if you find the server, I will be sure to show you. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.